Hi and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor where we're going to learn about rotational motion with angular acceleration, specifically the equations of motion uh, with a constant angular acceleration. Now what we've learned up until this point is the basic definition for angular velocity, angular position, angular acceleration, and we've, we've drawn analogy from the linear concept of acceleration, velocity, and etc. sort of trying to draw some parallels there. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to go a step further and, and use the uh, and learn about the equations of motion in a rotational environment and solve some problems and you'll see how we do that uh, in a minute. The good news about this section is that uh, it's very similar to some material you've already seen and I'm, I'm going to try to show that to you now. Um, remember that we have an equation long time ago, several sections ago, very beginning of the course, we have an equation that we learned about. Uh, the velocity, the linear velocity, when we're talking about cars, baseballs, things like that, is equal to the initial velocity that you throw something uh, plus the acceleration times the time. Now this is just an equation that you've learned already. You've got some initial velocity you throw something, you've got some acceleration that you're applying to it as it travels, and then knowing the acceleration, the time that it flies and the initial velocity, you can predict the uh, final velocity at any point along the trajectory in a straight line, okay? Now what you're going to learn, uh, and this is the good news, is that for every equation that you already know, for every equation that you already know, uh, such as this one, there's going to be an analog that's going to look almost exactly the same for rotational motion. So once you understand these equations, and hopefully you already do, you'll be able to apply them in a rotational motion, and they'll be very, very similar. So I hope you see that here. In a rotational system, and I'll explain a little bit more about what I mean by that in a second, the omega which remember is the angular velocity, is equal to the initial angular velocity that you give something plus the angular acceleration, which remember we call alpha, times the time. Now I hope you can see that this equation and this one, they're really the same equation. I mean, they are literally the same equation. There's an initial velocity here. This is an initial angular velocity and uh, a constant uh, acceleration. This is a constant angular acceleration and this is just simply the time. So in the first equation, in the, in the linear motion, you just know the initial parameters, the initial velocity, the acceleration you apply, and how long it travels, and you can predict the final velocity. Here, you just have to know what initial rotational speed you're giving something. Like You have to imagine like a bicycle wheel or something, and then you spin that bicycle wheel. Well, that bicycle wheel, is you give it some initial angular velocity in radians per second, right? And then let's say you're accelerating it you're using your finger to accelerate the wheel as it goes around, well you're going to give it some angular acceleration in radians per second squared and you do this for some period of time, well this equation just lets you predict what's the final angular uh, velocity going to be. Now you also learned an equation uh, way back when that's equal to uh, the distance that something has traveled is uh, v naught times t uh, plus one half times a times t squared. Uh, and this is something we've already learned, initial velocity, the time that it's uh, 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 traveled, one-half times the acceleration times time squared, okay? The analog here in a rotational system is that, and I'll explain this in a second, theta, which is just the angular position similar to this uh, position here, is equal to the initial angular speed times the time plus one-half times the angular acceleration times t squared. And again, looking at this equation and this equation, they are 